Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen series. My name is Jos Appelboom and every Monday we post a new video about the personal Top 3 Pens of Penfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on a video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. This week we will have a look at the Top 3 Pens of Bogdan Rotaru. Although he has been cheating a little bit because he has a couple of honorable mentions as well. Bogdan is from Romania and has his own YouTube channel called The Pen Collector. For someone who has only been collecting for a few years, he has a very impressive collection. If you're interested in vintage pens, you should definitely have a look at his reviews. Hello, my name is Bogdan Rotaru. You might know me from my YouTube channel The Pen Collector. I was given this great opportunity to present my top three fountain pens in my collection by Applebaum and I was quite excited because I was familiar with the luxury writing instrument store in Netherlands and their YouTube channel and even their series of top three fountain pens of famous people in the fountain pen community. For me this is uh, an honor to appear in this series so i will start i've uh, selected my favorite fountain pens in this box and i will start with uh, my pride and joy this is a mont blanc 146 masterpiece so not uh, meister's two but masterpiece the export model from 1952 this is a celluloid model, it has a telescopic filling mechanism and um, a ski slope type feed. Believe it or not, this was my first fountain pen that I bought for my collection. Uh, you know, it is a paradox when uh, you start your uh, collection with a high top product classic Meisterstück. I bought this fountain pen in 2017 from a local antique store in my town of Brasov, Romania and I want to thank Mr. Luca Marica for this great opportunity to buy this luxury fountain pen. Believe it or not, I paid less than 100 euros for uh, this fountain pen and it was a package deal because it came with this fountain pen, another great German fountain pen, a Pelican Souverain M800 from 1987. So I paid 400 for this fountain pen and 400 lays for this beauty, which means I paid 82.19 euros or 97.59 American dollars for each one. Those two fountain pens are quite iconic fountain pens. They uh, are quite expensive fountain pens, so they're definitely luxury fountain pens. And um, I had this great opportunity to buy them as my first purchase for my collection. Yes, this is the start of my collection. Of course, after that, I discovered a little beauty. This is a beautiful Caveco Sport 12 with a beautiful oblique double broad nib, a gold nib, also from the beginning of the 1950s. So you might recognize a pattern here. Yes, the top three fountain pens in my collections are German fountain pens with a beautiful open nib, a gold nib, with a piston filling mechanism and an open window. And they are manufactured in the 1950s, especially early 1950s. So these are my three favorite fountain pens, my Germans, my classic Germans fountain pens. Although those are my three favorite fountain pens, I was quite in a dilemma 
because I wanted to show you other fountain pens that are, that they are close to my heart. So other free, let's say, uh, honorary mentions. If I talked about the efficiency of German fountain pens in the first part of the video, now I will show you the beauty of fountain pens with uh, this Omas Extra from 1932 in this beautiful, beautiful celluloid. This is the cylindrical version, not the faceted version, but a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen with a gorgeous, gorgeous nib. Of course, the lighting doesn't give it justice. This is a wonderful, wonderful celluloid material. The Italians always made beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. I will put this aside. And another honorary mention, another majestic fountain pen. This is my only fountain pen, which is made out of solid silver, 835. It was made in Czechoslovakia at the beginning of the 1950s. This is a communist product, but based on of a model of the Barclay firm back in the 1930s. You can see the beautiful, beautiful pattern of this fountain pen. This is a similar product with the Mont Blanc Solitaire, but of course, for the moment, I can't afford one yet. This is another special and rare fountain pen from my collection and close to my heart. And the last fountain pen I want to show you is a fountain pen that I am quite proud because it was manufactured in my country, Romania, in the 1970s. Practically, this is a copy of the Mont Blanc 149 Diplomat model from the 1960s. But this was manufactured in communist Romania. This particular fountain pen, it is a rare fountain pen and the only fountain pen made in my country with a beautiful, beautiful gold nib. In those times, the communist industry did not have the capacity to build a gold nib. So interesting, I think that the nib was produced by a foreign manufacturer and I suspect by Mont Blanc, but I don't have proof for that. They produce, uh, the Romanians produce this uh, deluxe uh, model uh, version with a gold nib in very limited numbers. I believe that less than 1,000 fountain pens were made and they were distributed to high members of the Communist Party and officials. Uh, not many of them are still left on the open market and they are quite a rare piece to see and buy. So if you find one in the wild, just grab it and you will thank me later. I am a Romanian and I wanted to show you this fountain pen that I am quite proud of. Although it is arguably just a copy made from Mont Blanc, it is still still a great achievement of the communist Romanian industry of the 1970s. This was a video of the top three favorite fountain pens in my collection. Of course, I cheated a bit with the honorary mentions, but believe me, it is hard to choose over 300 fountain pens in my collection. I am a collector since 2017, and my connections with all my fountain pens is uh, the fact that um, I'm quite fond of them all. And uh, it's like a, a process when you meet and fall in love uh, with a woman. Maybe this is a bad comparison, but uh, bear with me. So first, you discover about the fountain pen, about its history, and about uh, a story of uh, the fountain pen's life. I love my fountain pens when I found my fountain pens with original box, original papers, and I even 
love the personalization on the cap so if i know that this fountain pen let's say this fountain pen was engraved with the name of um let's say a communist uh, party leader in romania so i could associate the life of this fountain pen with the life of that particular individual and uh, for me it's a matter of discovery okay i buy this fountain pen because i know it's a rare fountain pen but as i study as and uh, try to find as many information as i can about this fountain pen i um, emerge myself in the world of research and when i realize that now it's a rare fountain pen it makes it quite quite a special fountain pen you might call me a hoarder because i have fountain pens from different manufacturers different periods of time but i tried to make a story of all of them and to see the evolution in design in different filling methods in um, a nib production and each and every fountain pen is in my collection is special um, maybe it comes with a gold nib or a steel nib, but sometimes I appreciate even more a German Schoenaken with a steel nib than a modern fountain pen with a gold nib. So this is my connection with the fountain pens. Thank you for your time, guys. I'll see you again on my channel. I thank Applebaum for this great opportunity to present a little part of my soul, a little part of my fountain pen collection. As always, I wish you to have a nice day and bye-bye. Mm -hmm.